All right, there she is. He was getting worried already. Oh, really? He's like the time's taken, she's not here. She's hiding with the rest of the girls. Come on, set me aside, says pray for the huggers. Bye! Hey. Ethan, how's it going? Master Jess. How are you doing? Isabelle, Father, we gather together in the name of Jesus Christ uh, to honor marriage. And Lord God, the Bible says that when there's two or three gathered together in your name, that you are in the midst. So we welcome your presence, Father. And we pray, God, that our conduct today will welcome your presence. Let's, try, let's be reminded that, that the Lord Jesus is here with us today to honor marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus said that from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And for this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and be united to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one flesh. So I want you to think about that. One flesh. So if you are truly one, why would you have separate bank accounts? Separate goals? This is my food. This is my family. This is my car. You know, Mom and I have been married for 27 years, glory to God, and everything we have is joint. So we have joint accounts, it's our money, it's our kids, it's our house, it's our investments, it's our cars. We go to church together, we have dinner together, in fact, we work together. She always knows where I'm at, and I always know where she's at. Why, you may ask? Because we are one. So I would like you guys to follow our example and remember that you two are now one. Siga nuestro ejemplo y recuerde que ahora son uno. So Jesus went on to say, what God has joined together, let no one separate. So in closing, I want to share three tips that helps my marriage stay strong. So number one, the Bible says that love is patient. And as you know, nobody likes to be around an impatient person. So choosing to be patient means you will be slow to anger patience creates peace in your home and your marriage needs it to stay healthy and patience doesn't come naturally so you need to ask god to fill you with the holy spirit because the holy spirit produces patience in you <laughs> tip number two the bible says that love is kind kindness is love in action in fact kindness makes you likable Kindness gives each other compliments, gives each other love notes, says thank you to one another. In fact, the Bible says that never let loyalty and kindness leave you. So always remain loyal and be kind to one another. My final tip, the Bible says that love is not selfish. In fact, selfishness is the opposite of love. Selfishness is a danger to your marriage and selfishness will cause you to neglect each other. So if you find it hard to sacrifice things, Give examples. If you find it hard to sacrifice sports, activities, games, even friends, ministry, work, pleasures that you like for your spouse, you may have a bigger problem with selfishness than you think. In fact, the most common reason for divorce is a lack of commitment, which is selfishness. And the Bible has a strict warning about selfishness. It says that selfishness is not God's kind of wisdom. It is earthly 
unspiritual and demonic. So I want you guys to be to choose to be selfless by saying no to your wants and saying yes to your spouse's needs. So Andy and Esmeralda prepared their own vows and they're gonna read to one another. We met at the gym, you know, arguably the best place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> And I would look forward to seeing you scan in, and after a while, you know, I got comfortable with you. You know, pretending to clean and put weights away and, and squeeze in a conversation or two. Slow down. I could taste the for that. <laughs> there was a time when I told you that they wanted us to start taking pictures of the members for their gym profile. But you were so reluctant. Uh, but in the end, I did get the picture. <laughs> well, now, I can admit that the picture wasn't mandatory. <laughs> I just wanted a picture. <laughs> but... Since the moment I met you, you've been on my mind. You, you met me at a dark place, but your smile brought me life. You carry me up when I'm feeling down, and you tell me what I need to hear, because you know it will hurt me if you don't. Someone who keeps me in, my, in check, you remind me to carry my cross, make me a better man, and give me something to strive for. I vow to lead you as a spiritual leader, God is entrusting me to care for his daughter. I vow to love you forever. It is my prayer to carry the zeal and continuous desire mm. to pursue you. I vow to protect you with all my strength and power. I will fight for your protection and lay down my life. And when you're craving wings at 1.30 in the morning, I'll be right there craving them with you. Also, when Tom comes, you'll always be right. <laughs> When I met you, I had no idea how much my life was going to change. Meeting you was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's <laughs> okay, Craig. Oh. I thank God every day for putting you in my life. He did not only make you my best friend, but now my husband and one day the father of my children. You are a part of everything I think and feel, and I know that with you by my side, anything is possible. I promise to always encourage you support you and be faithful to you. I cannot promise to fix all your problems, but I can promise you that I won't let you face them alone anymore. Aww. I will love you even when we're 50 and you're still playing Xbox. You are and always will be the love of my life. You are my person, my love, my life today for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Se mira muy guapa. Excited that she actually got married because she here's the thing. <laughs> she used to say, I'm gonna live with my mom forever and I'm never gonna get married. So hey, that's a compliment. Since then we just been the bestest of friends and um I've known him over a decade now and I've shared many, many proud moments with him, but this by far is the proudest moment that I've shared with both of them. <laughs> I, I wish nothing for the best for him, but uh, I'm definitely uh, a little hurt he's leaving. But I mean, it is what it is, and you know, I know you're you, know, you have a real good mindset, bro. So I know wherever you go, wherever you'll be, you know, you always be successful, bro. And uh, Esmeralda, you're you're cool too. I, you know, I love you. Uh, but uh, so yeah, man, uh, I love you, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish nothing for the best for you, bro. Uh, Andy and Tito, man, my boys, you know, they've always been faithful, always been there with me by my side, no matter what. You know, we were bad kids in high school. We did what we did, but they were always there for me, you know. And uh, I love him like a brother, like if he was my own family. And I'll always be here for him, and I welcome you as well. I know we haven't really had much time to talk or discuss, but, uh, you know, anytime you guys need anything, if you guys ever need a helping hand, I'll always be here for you guys. And I thank your parents who always been here for me. And... I love you guys like my own family and I'll always be here for you guys. Thank you. Love you too, Okay, pues yo nada más quiero decirle a aquí al nuevo miembro de la familia Mendoza que cuide mucho a mi princesa porque 
todos pasamos por ese proceso, pero duele, de todos modos. Uno, uno que más quisiera que nunca se separara de uno, pero es el destino. Cuídense mucho, cuídense uno al otro y los quiero mucho. But um, you know, I've known Andy since the fifth grade, and um, the best part is like when you get to think about Andy, you think about the love that he's shown you, um, the friendship that he's given me, and uh, I'm, I'm truly blessed to have him in my life because he's a he's a great inspiration, and um, you know I I couldn't thank the Lord for you know a better brother, and um, I know you and me haven't really got to hang out and know each other, but. You know, the love I have for this guy is now going to go on to you because, you know, I have the utmost respect for this man right here. So I'm going to show that to you. And uh, just welcome to the family. Thank you. Martin wants to say something all the way from North Carolina. Martin, speak. Are you muted? There you go. Oh, here's you. Oh, here's you. Yeah. Yes. Hey, bro. Greetings from North Carolina. <laughs> Sorry I can't be there, but I know we're going to party it up when I visit you at your new place. But I just want to say, this is the happiest I've ever been for you, bro. Because I know how happy a marriage is about to make you. Because I'm speaking from first-hand experience. <laughs> so I am so happy for you. I love you. And this bro, Thank you. Well, my name is Joseph. Um, Andy's my nephew. So, you know what? Congratulations um, to for this moment, both of you and stuff like that. Um, you know, I mean, marriage is, is is beautiful. I mean, as long as you find that good partner, you know. <laughs> That, that good mate, um, and you guys work at it because it is work. Uh. Pues te deseo que seas muy feliz. Y recuerdo cuando estaba chiquito y te decían tu papá ponciano Sansoncito. Y ahora ya te, te casaste, ya ahora quiero que sean felices y que superen todo, que se acerquen a Dios, sobre todo, y que nunca se, se desaparten de Él. Uh, I love you guys, both of you. Uh, yeah. We are planning on moving out together, getting our own place together, but I mean, I guess now we can't do that. But I'm still really happy and excited for them, and I just want to say that I wish you guys the best. And I'll definitely miss you, and I know you're gonna miss me. <laughs> I love you guys. It's a blessing that you guys are helping us blend all these people together in one family. You know, it's a, it's a blessing when we get to expand, and, and there's already like five million of us. So to have your family join our family and, and vice versa, you guys, it's a it's a real blessing. We look forward to getting to know you guys more. I, I know they're ditches, but we can still hang out. So, you know, we don't always need them. Okay, it's not always only today. It's about that. <laughs> always cherish the opportunities Christ gives you to serve Him. Because there are many, and he will provide. One of the things I like to look at in scripture is how much God says, if you love your wife more than me, you're not worthy. And if you love your husband or your children more than me, you're not worthy. You better make sure each of you love Jesus more than you love one another. And then he will allow you and enable you to love one another more deeply, more intimately than had you tried to love each other first and foremost. So for you. Believe in Andy, even when you don't. Build him up and encourage him. And eventually you'll learn to believe in him. And Andy, your charge is this. Do all that is within your capability to be worthy of that belief. All right? I love you guys. I'm going to miss hanging out with you all the time. And even more, I'm going to miss the deals that you got me on the, on the pizzas. Because <laughs> I know none of the guys here are going to get me those deals. But you know what? <laughs> 
It's all good. It is what it is. I just want to say I love you and I'm proud of you and I hope the best for you guys. I want to congratulate both of you guys on obviously your guys' big day and um, I'm super excited for you guys to be moving to Texas because it gives us all an opportunity to go and visit Texas. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward for us to be able to either fly out there, drive out there, see different areas out there. Um, but congratulations to both of you guys as you've been great. Um, I, I know we've just known each other for a short little time, but you're, you're a sweetheart and I already love you. And Andy, you already know that I love you. Pues yo les deseo que sean mucho, mucho, muy felices hasta que la muerte los separe a los dos sin separarse. Y les deseo todo lo mejor de la, pues todo lo mejor del, del mundo. Y ustedes que se van tan lejos, que Dios me los siga bendiciendo por toda la vida. Gracias. Que sean mucho, muy felices. Gracias. Pues ya le hemos dicho a uh, Esmeralda, you know, she's already been welcome to our family. Um, I know we just met her, we just got introduced to her in January this year, so we've only known her for a short time, but it seems like the first time we met her, I just felt like she was already part of the family. So we love her very much. She knows how much we love her. Um, and so we've already welcomed you in the family a long time ago before I knew you. Well, we knew he was going to marry you because I don't know if he told you this. Did you tell me? <laughs> he said that the next girl he brought to our house was going to be his wife. So he last, I mean, he spent a long time not bringing a girl home and he told me once when you see me bring a girl home she's going to be my wife so when she he brought her home in january to introduce her to us i'm like i took him in i'm like so this is going to be your wife <laughs> because he had said that whoever brings home is going to be my wife so that's why i felt like i loved you already because i already knew you were going to be my my daughter so um I, we just, we love you so much. And again, like your mom said, there's gonna be highs and lows. Bonsi and I have been married for 27 years. We went through a roller coaster. And I mean, if when you go through the fire, when you go out through the fire, it just keeps going up and there's no coming down, you know, until you go see the Lord. But marriage is one of the most hardest, hardest things in life, but it's the most rewarding. Um, so I just, I pray that, you know, that the Lord will bless you too, will bless your marriage. One thing I do want to tell you both is to be forgiving towards one another because you guys are going to do things that the other one doesn't approve of. I mean, it's inevitable. Um, and when it does happen, be ready to forgive. Be very merciful to one another. Uh, respect one another. Always tell each other where you guys are going to be. Always know where you're going to be. Um, never travel alone. Always travel together. You guys are one. Um, what else can I tell you? Just like Juanita said, seek the word. That's the best advice. Is That's our manual how to live in this life. You always go back to the manual, which is the Bible. So respect each other. Love one another. Be kind, like Bonsi said. Be kind. Be patient. Be selfish. Selfless. Sorry, selfless. <laughs> um, yeah, so I love you very much both and I just hope for the best for you too. Till death do you apart. And yeah, I love you man so much, dude. Yeah, you um man dude. Like everyone was so surprised I drove up here, but I was like, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Like seriously, yeah, I was so happy that I could be here. Um meeting you is like literally one of the like things only things I've wanted in my entire life, so be, being able to be here with you guys and like I got to spend some time with you like last month, two months, yeah. it was great. Like you guys are like so perfect together. You compliment each other so well. It's yeah. so funny. But the best advice that you'll ever get from anyone should come from the Bible. So like your Theo, your Theo and your daddy, you know, they're always talking Bible, 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 Bible. And sometimes it's just like, <sighs> okay, you know. But honestly, take heed. And one scripture that always comes to my mind for marriage is Ephesians 5, and it comes from 21 all the way to 20, um, 29. And then not only talks to the husband, it talks to the wife. And once you guys have children, it'll even talk to them on how each one has a part in a marriage. 
Remember that God is your third fold and only through him will your marriage work. So please, if any advice that you ever take, please just heed to God's word and apply it, apply it, apply it. Read it daily, you know, every night together and it'll bring you closer. You've seen it through your mommy and your dad and honestly, it works. So I love you both and I really don't know you, but I'm glad you're in my family. <laughs> Um, darles mi bendición, decirles que ojalá que sean muchos, muchos años los que duren. Uh, yo sé que hay altas, hay bajas, pero espero que puedan salir adelante. Y espero, ya que esos no se animan a tener bebés, pues ya, ahora sí ya quiero uno. Okay. Y les deseo lo mejor. Y no he perdido. Ok, no he perdido una hija, he ganado un hijo y espero verlos así de felices toda la vida. Les deseo lo mejor y los quiero mucho. Met my husband. He was a three sisters and they're so crazy. And they always fight and always. <laughs> and then right when I met Angel as as me, as May, as Merelda, I <laughs> sorry, I know I'm Kelly's. Um, wow, like we clicked. Um, she's my best friend, um, my sister now. I love you so much, and it breaks my heart that you're leaving. But I hope you guys take really good care of each other. And almost a year of marriage, and it's beautiful. And I wish that all for you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
You guys ready to toast? Oh, okay. Steven, you're, it's on you. Before we do this toast, let's just hear it one more time for Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Rodriguez. Yeah! This day is just the first step that they're taking into marriage, even though they've been married for a while now. But uh, just like everyone said, marriage is just up and down. It's gonna be a roller coaster, you know, and eventually we're gonna have a little Andrewcito running around here. And that'll be the best day of his life after this one. So I just wish you guys many blessings on this journey. And let's just make it a good time. To Andy and Ez. Cheers! Bravo! That's it? Is there supposed to be music? I should be in there! Where's the Take me out. I do have my double shot. My mom is in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 